In this video, you will learn non-verbal reasoning type 4, complete the grid. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. In this type of question, we have a larger square and inside this larger square, we have a smaller square which has been left blank. So our job is to find the shape that fits the best in this square from the multiple choice. For this example, let's start off by looking at the similarities and the differences between the top two shapes. So in terms of the similarities, they're both the same shape. So that's the similarity. And in terms of differences, the angle is a different thing. So if you look at the shape on the left, it has been rotated 180 degrees to get to the shape on the right. So this means in terms of angle, it is 180 degrees. So for our question, this shape must be rotated 180 degrees to get our answer. So out of A, B, C, D and E, let's cross off any of the options in which this shape has not been rotated 180 degrees. So we can cross off D and E because they're not rotated at all. Let's move on to the next difference, which is the shading pattern. In terms of shading, the shape on the left is left blank, but the shape on the right is hatched. So this means out of A, B and C, which one of these pattern is closest to this one? In other words, which one of these pattern is hatched? And it's obviously B. B has a hatched pattern, so that means D is our answer. I hope you guys understood everything so far. Now, let's go on to the next one. For this example, let's start by comparing the top two shapes. So let's look at the similarities and the differences. In terms of the similarities, they're both the same shape. And uh, let's move on to differences. In terms of differences, on the left hand side shape, there's only one hatched pattern. On the right hand side shape, we have two hatched. This means in terms of differences, we have two hatched shapes. So these are the differences. Now let's do the same thing. So for this example, we must have two of the same hatched pattern. So out of A, B, C, D and E, which one of these have two hatched patterns? We can straight away remove D because it has a spotted pattern. So let's just remove D. That means we're left with A, B, C and E. Out of these four, only A has two hatched pentagons. So this means our answer to this question is A. Let's have a look at this example. And in this example, you might notice that the shape is a bit larger. We have a three by three grid right now. So let's use shapes first. In terms of shapes, if you notice the two left hand side shapes, so this one and this one, you add these two to make the shape on the right. And let's look at the second row. In terms of the second row, you add this shape and this shape to make the shape on the right. So if this carries on like this, we'll have to add these two shapes to give us our answer. So this means the two left shapes have been joined up to make the shape on the right. So in terms of number, we don't have any number because the number of shapes on one grid stays the same. Let's move on to angle. In terms of angle, there is no angle since none of the shapes are rotated. Let's move on to position now. In terms of position, even if you do find something about position, if you look at the multiple choice, all the shapes, they are at the same position in each grid. Let's move on to size. They're all the same sizes, so that doesn't work. And in terms of shading, if you look at the shading pattern, it's black and white. So if you look at C, D and E, they have different shader patterns. C has a dotted pattern, D has a dotted one, and E has a hatch pattern. So this means C, D and E, we can cross them off since they don't work. So we're left with A and B. In terms of A and B, once again, if you look at the shading pattern, you might notice that when adding these two shapes, the shading pattern remains the same on the larger shape. For example, if the shape on the left is black and the shape on the right is white, the final shape has the black on the left and the white on the right. So in our case, the black is on the left and the white is on the right. So this means B has the white on the left and the black on the right. So B is not right. So this means we're left with A. Let's check if A is right. A has the black on the left and the white on the right. So this means our answer for this question is A. So I hope you guys understood everything. Now to learn more non-verbal reasoning types, click the video on the right 
and to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.